हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ संकेत सिंह ठाकुर लेक्चरर ऑफ फिजिक्स गांधीनगर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ चैप्टर डाई इलेक्ट्रिक्स आवर टुडेज ऑब्जेक्टिव इज अ बेसिक डेफिनेशंस टाइप्स ऑफ डाई इलेक्ट्रिक्स एंड क्लोसियस मोस्टी इक्वेशन बट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज डाई इलेक्ट्रिक what is the basic funda of dielectrics right we are telling that a dielectric is nothing but insulator then why in our engineering physics syllabus our chapter name is dielectrics why we are not learning a chapter insulator first of all what is the meaning of insulator right insulator means which have a capability to prevent a flow of a electron then what is the meaning of dielectric which have a capability to prevent a flow of electrons means current then what is the difference between the dielectrics and insulator and what is the importance of a dielectrics that's why we are teaching or we are learning a chapter in this engineering physics first of all without electricity our life is possible obviously not and without dielectric electricity is possible no why starting from the very micro level thing thin films consider thin film transistor without dielectric material it is not possible to develop thin film transistor this is a micro level thing now move towards the macro level without dielectric material there is no possibility to develop transformer dielectric material are used micro level to macro level hence without dielectrics there is a no possibility of electronics equipments hence electricity so first of all what is the basic funda of a dielectric basically a dye electric material are called as an insulator right but what is the main difference the difference between the dye electric material and the insulator lies in its application which kind of application when the material are used to prevent a flow of electricity through them on the application of a potential difference then they are called insulator or a passive dielectric materials remember one thing insulator are also called a passive dielectric materials right means where where we want to prevent a flow of a electron flow of a electricity hence a flow of a current then the material which are used is called insulator on the other end if they are used the charge storage then they are called a dielectric material or a active dielectrics means we have a sun right but we are not able to store a sun energy 100% means we have one challenge that we can't storage a electricity or a sun energy 100% so storage of the energy is a big challenge to us and dielectric material help us to storage this kind of energy means when we are using a dielectric material or you can say insulator for the storage of a electricity or for the storage of a charge then the particular dielectric material is called or insulating material is called dielectric or active dielectrics in the dielectric materials all electrons are tightly bound to their parents electrons or a parents molecules difference between the semiconductor and dielectric material is here for the semiconductor material the energy gap is less than the 3 eV but this particular dielectric material the energy gap is near about the 3 ev right if it is near about the 5 ev then 
it is completed behavior as a insulator right but if it has a electron volt energy means band gap energy near about the 3 ev then it is called a dielectric material not possible for the electrons in the valence band to excite to the conduction band by crossing the energy gap even with the normal voltage to the thermal energy what is the meaning of this sentence at the room temperature at the room temperature in conductor some of the electrons are gain the energy with the temp room temperature and it will directly goes into the conduction band from the valence band but in dielectric material it is not possible at the room temperature it cannot be jump directly into the valence band or directly into the conduction band from the valence band it is basically a non metallic cer ceramics right and a main thing in a dielectric material or you can say the main difference between the dielectric material and the insulator is a dielectric material has a negative temperature coefficient of resistance what is the meaning of coefficient it is a one kind of multi multiplier right the so main thing between main difference between the dielectric material and the insulator is a dielectric material is a one kind of high negative temperature coefficient insulator then move towards the basic definition of a dielectrics actually i want to explain a polarization in a dielectric material but before that polarization event you should have enough knowledge about the dipole and dipole moment then what is the meaning of dipole dipole is basically a pair of equal and opposite charge separated by a small distance constitutes an electric dipole what is the meaning of that consider this is a one charge say it is a plus q this is the another charge say it is a minus q then if this both charge charge number 1 and charge number 2 is separated by the small distance say it is x then this a separation of a two opposite charge with the distance x the formation is called dipole and what is the meaning of dipole moment the product of the magnitude of the two charge and the distance of their separation x is called the dipole moment it means if i want to write this definition into the mathematical equation then we can write a multiplication of a two opposite charge means 2 into q multiply by distance x this is called a dipole moment mu right now we have a knowledge about the dipole and dipole moment now for move further towards the polarization polarization is a most important thing for the dielectric material okay what is the polarization polarization is basically a define as a process of creating a dipole within the dielectric material how how it can possible how this formation it take place in dielectric material right the polarization increase with the electric field if we apply what is the meaning of these two things consider a isolated atom consider isolated atom i told it is a isolated atom means we are not applying a electric field means electric field e is equal to 0 at this situation all the positive ion are situated at their center and all the electrons are revolving around that particular nucleus right but now if i apply a electric field in this direction to this particular isolated atom then what will be happen according to the applied electric field 
these positive ions moves towards the this direction and this cloud of electrons will move towards the opposite directions of that positive nucleus means what will be happen finally positive ions means nucleus is this type and minus sign negative means electrons will move towards the this direction so what will be the result separation of a minus charge separation of a positive charge with the distance say this distance is x this is nothing but this is a formation of a dipole means separation of a charge with the one distance x and multiplication of this two charge 2q and the distance is called dipole moment so what is the meaning of polarization polarization is nothing but it is a process of creating a dipoles within the dielectric materials and if we apply electric field then up to one critical level up to one critical level dipole will forms after that the distance between the positive ions means nucleus and electrons will not further go into the opposite direction next on the basis of this polarization effect now we have a clear about the polarization effect polarization means it is a formation or it is a process of a formation of a dipoles within the dielectric materials right on the basis of this polarization effect two kind of dipoles or two kind of dielectric material are classified polar dielectrics and non polar dielectrics but on the basis of the formation of a dipole means whether the formed dipole is a permanent or whether it is a non permanent first a dielectric material in which there is a no permanent dipole is exist that particular dielectric material is called polar dielectric material for example h2 n2 o2 co2 and ch4 these all are the non polar dielectric material means there is a no presence of a permanent dipole is there right now you can guess a definition of a polar dielectric materials yes a dielectric material in which a permanent dipole is exist that particular dipole dielectric material is called a polar dielectric material and the example of the polar dielectric material is h2o hcl and co right clear the difference between the non polar and polar if you are talking about the polar then without applying electric field there is a presence of a dipole moment is there or you can say there is a presence of a dipole is there and if you are talking about the non polar then without applying electric field there is a no presence of any dipole is there right means in non polar dielectric material you have to apply a electric field to create a dipole moments or dipole and in non polar without applying electric field there is a already presence of a dipole moment or dipole is there means there is a already presence of a separation of a minus charge and plus charge is there next this is the third definition electric field we all know that flow of a cur electrons is called electric uh, current but what is the meaning of electric field a region around the charge within which its effect is felt or experience is known as a electric field what is the meaning of this sentence if we have one region is there if this region is surrounded by the positive charge and if i put one negative charge at a distance x then what will be the happen this negative charge will create effect on this surface means there is a two kind of charges there tell this positive charge is nothing but plus q this is minus q plus q is there 
माइनस क्यू इज देयर बिटवीन देयर प्लस क्यू एंड माइनस क्यू देर इज अ वन काइंड ऑफ फोर्स इज देयर दैट फोर्स इज नथिंग बट कुलम फोर्स राइट so what is the meaning of electric field electric field is nothing but a effect of the minus charge on the plus q charge where the plus q charge is nothing but it is a one kind of surface which is surrounded by the plus ions next definition electric field strength what is the meaning of electric field strength it is nothing but intensity of that particular field and this intensity of the particular field is denoted by capital e and it is nothing but ratio of that particular coulomb force to the that particular charge e is equal to f by q where q is nothing but magnitude of the charge and f is nothing but coulomb force so obviously the unit of that particular electric field strength will be the newton per coulomb or volt per meter electric flux when we are talking about the flux it is nothing but number of lines of force will be passing towards the particular one area it is defined as the total number of the electric lines for of force passing through a given area in the electric field emanated from the positive charge you know that electric lines of force will be emerge from the positive and it will be going towards the negative so total number of the line which are passing towards the particular minus charge means it will be consider n number of lines will be passing from the transverse capital a where a is area then that particular total number of lines is called electric flux and obviously electric lines is nothing but a charge charge means q and unit of q will be coulomb so finally the unit of the electric flux will be the coulomb electric flux density or you can say electric